Welcome to another quick tutorial in Photoshop Elements uh, 11. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the background and then uh, apply a solid background uh, for the image. So we're going to be using the quick selection tool, which you can grab it uh, if you hit your keyboard, uh, the A keyboard, keyword on your keyboard. That's going to bring it, and also you can uh, grab it from here, uh, which is. Uh, this one right this one quick selection tool once you grab that and then you can start selecting and uh, make sure your your image is uh, proper size otherwise uh, yeah you can get about uh, soft edges and everything but the more you have uh, the image uh, quality better the much better result you can get so we're going to be selecting this area and don't worry about inside this area we're going to fix it and I'll be showing you a very uh, cool trick how to fix that but for now we're going to just select and uh, so so example for the for this part we're going to inverse it so you go to uh, you go to select and then inverse or you can just hit control shift i on windows and uh, command shift i on mac to inverse so once you inverse it uh, grab the lasso tool the selection and start selecting this area and then that's fixed so let's get it more precise let's zoom in or more and you hold shift and just drag this until where the selection is so whatever is inside the selection it's going to be cut out that's it okay we're going to use the same thing for the eyebrows and for the the nose and uh, here this area let's zoom in and uh, very slightly hold shift it's not good hold shift and start drawing lines good First do the small parts and then you see hold shift again and draw just like this and then just back close it. So there you have it. And now for this part, we're going to do the same thing. Hold shift. And then I'm using this uh, stupid mouse. So, sorry. It's a bit hard to select. So, let's see and this area it's so bad but we fix it undo back it's hold shift okay it's not bad and then just close it back this area so And now uh, zoom out and uh, Command X, so you can just go to File, uh, no, to Edit, sorry, and you can say Cat, uh, Delete. Uh, we're going to use Command X. Oh, before anything, you have to back inverse it, of course. Select and then inverse. Otherwise, if you don't inverse it, if it's inverse, uh, and if you cut it, uh, it's only going to get rid of the image inside. 
so you don't want to do that. Back to invoice, and then hit command command X, and then you're done. So for this, we're going to create another solid layer for the background. So you go to layer right here, create a new layer. Let me zoom in so you can see. Let's create a new layer. It's gonna bring. So you can rename it if you like. Solid background BG and drag down underneath that. You can fill it up just by a rectangle you can draw. So you grab the rectangle and if you want you can change your color from here to a different color and just draw one. And there you have a, another background. If you want you can change the background from here. Why well, let's but you must have your layer selected, so that's the background selected layer. And you can change the background uh, whatever color you want. Or you can bring a, you can also bring another image behind if you like. So we can do that easily. Just go to file. We're going to place another image. So I have a, an image right here. Just select. It's very small, but can make it bigger. And just hit uh, OK. And uh, there you have it. I mean, I know there's a little bit uh, of these blue uh, colors around it, but you can always fix that. Uh, you can erase it if you like. Uh, like this, and uh, let's it. You can have it a uh, softer, softer uh, brush if you like, just like this one, so that you get a little bit of feather that area. And also for this, I'm not so comfortable using this mouse, but it helps still. So, you can do color changing for that area as well. And there's a lot of different ways to fix that. And, uh, I know these areas you can see the small soft uh, these edges that are not uh, didn't came so well but you can fix that uh, with, well, we forgot to do that but once you have selected it and then you go to um, you go to, uh, to the layer select and then once you, you have the, you have your selection on you go to modify and then play some smooth that's going to get it uh, smoother edges. So I may do another tutorial for that. So for now, if you learn something from this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will make more tutorials on Photoshop Elements and also in Photoshop uh, C6 and Photoshop C5 and so uh, C3. Uh, I have more tutorials on my channel and you can go and watch it and you may learn something new. So. Um, so I'll see you for the next video.